We believe in doing things the uh, the indie way, and obviously the same thing when we go out in recreation, like what we're doing now, which is you know we go out and fishing. We keep it very very simple and rootsy, and that's what this is all about, getting right back to basics. So we're calling it roots. Well, you're probably wondering what I'm doing, rubbing my hands together like this with all this gold stuff and whatever. I've been smoking this morning, and I've been playing with a fire, and. Uh, probably got sweat from the night and whatever else so all of these scents that are in here are no good for fishing the fish will pick up on the fact that there's something not quite right so this is a uh, a, a, a power bait jelly type of thing you can actually use it as a bait I don't use it as a bait I use it as a pretty sort of a, a good masking thing so over the next half hour we're gonna get amongst it and um, like I said when I'm not sort of like running the record company and flying around the world and doing deals with artists and publishing and uh, licensing into film and television and advertising or whatever. I love my fishing. So let's get out there. Right, so now we've arrived at the spot, the first thing we've got to do is rig up. Um, we're just using a, a fairly balanced Shimano outfit. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary, just a three bearing threadline reel and a two piece rod. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to test the, the system by um, floating down some maggots just to see what's going on. So I'm taking a quill float. These are weighted quill float. Okay, really good stuff. And basically, you need a, uh, a small bit of split shot. These are pretty slippery suckers. They're a bit hard to handle sometimes, but you get the hang of it. most important thing about fishing is to have fun. That's the one thing we always do, is we always have a lot of fun when we go away. Okay. And, um, basically on shank hook, you see this? Okay, it's a long shank hook. It's at number four. Now, so through the eye, to this sort of a pattern, and then you hold it, grip it tight like this. Okay? And twisting. Two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven is good. Nicely pull it, wait for the tag. Put the tag up in the mouth. Like that, there's the tag. Okay. You see that hole there? You should be able to see it if I bring it around to the sun. There's a hole right there that I'm going to go through. See that? And you just hold that like that. And then bring the tag back through again. Till you get it to about this looking position. Hopefully you got that. And then just very gently pull it down. Snip off the tag with your teeth. Keep it nice and rootsy. Don't worry about those fancy clippers. And you're pretty right to go. The key is to take our, our long shank and you see the change of the colour there? That's known as the saddle. We're going to go in just below the saddle, okay, and just thread it straight on. All the way up. The more the better. Okay, 
and then you want to bring the hook out probably about there grab that and then gently with these two fingers just drag it up the hook so it's up the line a little bit so when it sits your worm should sit like that that's a pretty pretty attractive bait in my opinion wouldn't you say okay I've got to go over here for a second because what I want to do on that is I actually want to put a little bit of aniseed oil, which I just happen to have in my pocket. Okay, normally either the scent or the aniseed oil. So I'll take our worm and just a little bit down here and whatnot. Aniseed is attractive to fish. It's also a very good masking agent for the hands again. Look at that marshmallow. Never know what you're going to find in Mike's pockets. It's always a bit of a mystery. Okay, well I'm going to stand up now. And uh, we're going to try and uh, plumb the depth of what we're doing. Okay, ready? Yep.